In Activity 11, Screws, students discuss the properties of the screw and discover that it is a modified incline plane. Students first build a model of a screw, then compare the force used to drive a screw with that used to drive a nail, and finally discuss how screws make work easier. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 11, Activity Sheet 12, Part A, Nails, Screws, Roll of String, and a Roll of Masking Tape. You will also need to provide pairs of safety goggles, hammers, wide markers, sheets of paper, pencils, metric rulers, pairs of scissors, flat slot screwdrivers, and pieces of scrap wood. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 11 and Activity Sheet 12 Part A for each student. Then cut a piece of string 45 centimeters long for each team. Parents may be able to contribute slot head screwdrivers and hammers for this activity, and scrap pieces of wood can often be obtained from a construction site or lumber yard. Each piece of wood should be more than 5 centimeters thick. Each student will need a pair of safety goggles, a nail, and a screw, and each team of four students will need a screwdriver, a hammer, a pair of scissors, a piece of string, a piece of tape about 11 centimeters long, a sheet of paper, a wide felt tip marker, a pencil, a metric ruler, and a scrap of wood. To begin the activity, distribute a sheet of paper, a wide felt tip marker, a pair of scissors, a metric ruler, and a piece of tape to each team. Have the students measure and cut the sheet of paper into a rectangle 10 centimeters by 20 centimeters. Instruct students to use the marker and ruler to draw a thick, straight diagonal line from the bottom left corner to the top right corner of the rectangle. Then have them cut along the edge of the line so that the majority of the marker line remains visible on one of the two triangles they create. Save the triangle with the marker line and discard the triangle without the line. Next, have the students lay the triangle flat with the 20 centimeters side parallel to the edge of their work surface. Ask students, which simple machine does this triangle look like? The student should respond that the triangle looks like a side view of an inclined plane. Explain that the marked edge of the triangle represents a side of an inclined plane. Then ask, what do you think it would look like if the inclined plane were wrapped around an object? Accept all student responses. Instruct students to tape the 10 centimeter side of the triangle to their pencil. Wrap the triangle around the pencil so that the marker line is visible and secure the edge of the paper triangle with a small piece of tape. After the teams have finished wrapping their pencils, ask students, what does the wrapped pencil look like? Student answers may include barber poles, candy canes, spiral staircases, and so on. Next, distribute a scrap of wood, a hammer, a piece of string, and a screwdriver to each team, and hand out a copy of Activity Sheet 11, a pair of safety goggles, a nail, and a screw to each student. Invite students to compare the screw with the wrapped pencil and to record their observations on their activity sheets. Inform the class that the protrusions around the shaft of the screw are called threads, even though they're actually a single, long, inclined plane. Guide them to understand that a screw is a simple machine made up of an inclined plane wrapped around a cylinder. Next, ask the teams to use their rulers to measure the length of the inclined plane that makes up the pointed tip of the nail, and instruct students to record this measurement on their activity sheets. Then, tell students to wrap a piece of string around a screw, following the screw's threads, and cut it when the spiral is completed. Have them remove the string from the screw and measure its length. Tell the class that this string represents the length of the inclined plane on the screw. Finally, have students record this information on their activity sheets. Ask students, how do you predict the amount of force required to drive a nail into a scrap of wood will compare with the amount of force required to drive a screw into the wood? A student should realize that a screw is wrapped with a long inclined plane and the nail has only a short inclined plane. The longer the incline, the less force it takes to drive an object into wood. Remind the students to record their predictions on their activity sheets. Have one team member use a hammer and nail to lightly tap eight shallow holes evenly spaced in the scrap of wood. The student should wear safety goggles during the hammering phase of this activity. 
Have each team member take turns using a hammer to drive a nail into one of the holes in the wood. Encourage students to note the force necessary to do this. Then have each team member use a screwdriver to drive a screw into one of the remaining pre-punched holes. Instruct students to record their observations and to complete the activity sheet. When they have finished, ask students, which did you need less force to drive, the nail or the screw? Students should agree that it was easier to drive the screw into the wood, but that it took more time. Then ask students, what other simple machines were at work as the screws were driven into the scraps of wood? A student should mention that the tapered end of the screw is a wedge, the screwdriver is a wheel and axle, and the shaft of the screwdriver is a lever. Finally, distribute a copy of Activity Sheet 12, Part A, to each student. I tell students to take the sheet home and make a list of simple machines that they find around the house. During the next activity, a class discussion will focus on their findings. And to conclude the activity, discard the paper triangles and scraps of wood with the nails and screws still in them. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM teacher's guide.